Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Charles here. I wanted to show you quickly. I say quickly every time. It's never quick, but it's going to be quick today because I don't want to bore you. Anyway, you know I'm nice to people, right? I'm nice to everybody. I don't care where you're from. I'm more interested in hanging out with people that are totally different than people that are the same. I'm a liberal Democrat back home, but I don't like to be around them all the time. They kind of annoy me, but that's my views. Anyhow, I hang out at a Nargilla bar called Horos in Novi Sad. I go there about every day because I like to smoke Nargilla and relax and work from there. Okay, in the summer, there was a, a Muslim family, three triplets, young, that was like 15, 16 years old. I heard him speaking Arabic and I was just sitting there and I asked him, I said, hey, where are you from? Do you speak English? And they said, we're from Kuwait. And I said, wow, no kidding. So I started, I spoke to the sister, uh, the other sister, I got to meet the mother, and the three, the three kids, they, they come here quite a bit because their uncle uh, used to be the Syrian ambassador to Russia, and he owns something here. So they come here all the time. They're going to study here in the future, so they're learning Serbian language. Uh, so, <coughs> so anyway, <coughs> almost every day I go to Horos, and when they're in town, they always come up and sit by me, these three kids. So nice. I, I'm, I'm very, very nice to them. Nice to their whole family. Met their whole family. Their father owns a construction company in Kuwait. Very successful, wealthy man. And, um, what's that noise? Beeping. Uh, very successful, wealthy man. Never had a chance to meet him. Yesterday, I get a phone call, and it was my friend, and he said, Hey, um, Nasir is his name. So he wants to meet you. Um, Abud and Ahmed, Mohammed's father. And I said, wow, well, really? I would love to. He's in town, so he wanted to meet me. I go up there to Horos to smoke with him. Such a good man. Friendly guy. Funny guy. Speaks English. Such a good man. Brought me some gifts. He had a bag of gifts that I want to show you the gifts he got me. Because he appreciated it. He said, I wanted to meet the nice American that is nice to my family here. The kids, he said, the kids always talk about the nice American guy that's nice to them. So uh, that's so nice. Uh, so we realized we're not all goddamn Donald fucking Trump, okay? Uh, anyhow, he brought me all this cool stuff. Some of this I've never seen before in my life. This here I've seen, but these are really lovely nuts. It's called al Rafai nuts, mixed nuts, got pistachios in it, uh, all these different nuts. I don't even know how to say most of the nuts, but they're really tasty. Big back of those. This, I wish you could smell this. This is... Al Amid Coffee Company in Kuwait, from Kuwait. Uh, it's a very, it's even sealed here in this bag, but this has the most potent smell you could ever smell. My whole entire apartment, not even kidding you, is filled with that smell of beautiful coffee. And the neatest little gift he got me was this thing, a little wooden box. When I saw this little wooden box, I thought, what is that, cigars maybe? And then he opened it. He said, these are dates. Isn't this cool? Man? Have you ever seen anything like this? I've never seen this in my entire life. You've got 16 of these yellow colored dates. And then 16 of these reddish dates. And a little velvet wooden box. How does it cause a date not some school? I don't even know. But I thought it was so cool. Somebody I'd never met before, just because I'm nice to their family, they bring me this. We sit there and talk. He has a business, I, I told you, in Kuwait, but he wants to do something here. I told him about my tourism thing I've been trying to do. But then I work at this work and travel company. And I don't get much time to even think about it. He said, I'm in. He said, so many of these Arab families down there, they love to travel. And he said, right now, so many are going to Bosnia. They buy a home in Bosnia. They come there and travel back and forth. He said, people there talk all the time. And people think it's unsafe here. Typical bullshit. So he wants to start some tourism company, too. So it might be an awesome, awesome thing. Just by being nice to people, all that stuff happens, man. You don't have to believe everything they believe. You don't have to try to force your beliefs on someone else. You can just sit 
listen, smile, and be friendly. I don't get the divisiveness and the hate that's out there in the world for people that are different. You know, I just don't get it. I just don't, and I never will. There's a certain group of folks that I don't care much for, but I'm friends with a couple of them. I'm not going to name names, but I'm friends with a couple of them, and I listen to them, and I just think, oh my God, these guys are nuts. But I can still be friendly to people. And I just don't get those that hate somebody because they're different. They have a different belief or something like that. What the fuck is up with that? And most people that do that, you know, they tend to be... The people that hate the most tend to be the most religious, I've noticed. The religious extremist Christian nut jobs, fundamentalists in the USA, are the most hate-filled people. The same goes for the Muslim people. The fundamental nut job freaks that claim to be closest to God are the most horrible people. You know, I don't get it. That's why I'm proud to be the non religious good man that I am. Anyway, let me show you this stuff. I'll get off here and shut up and eat and drink my coffee and eat my nuts. Oh my God, that sounded bad, didn't it? Here's these lovely nuts. Have you heard of that brand? Al Refai. It's a big bag. I don't know how much is in it. Um, 8.9 Kuwaiti dinara. Man, Kuwaiti money is worth a shitload. I'll tell you that. Here's the coffee. Man, I wish you could smell it too. Beautiful. Al Lamid. Made in Kuwait. If you can see it, I don't know. I can't focus on there. And here's this nice little box. Heavy little wooden box with dates in it. There's what they look like. So neat, man. Never seen a gift like that. That's so cool. That's what's cool about knowing strange people. That's it, my friends. Don't be Virginia. Be nice to people. God damn it.